Hi, I'm Wade Greenacre with Team 11. I was in charge of building the low range percussion instrument for the ASU alma mater song. Uh, slide 8 of our presentation, you'll see my initial design. It's a uh, pine wood painted percussion instrument. Uh, individual bars are cut to create the low range notes. No additional assemblies needed once it is assembled. Um, the, it is a cantilever design uh, and it's to be struck with a wooden drumstick. Uh, the underlying uh, physics are also included on the right hand side including the variables and the equation used to calculate what the individual lengths of the uh, boards would be uh, to create the different frequencies needed to play the alma mater song. Uh, some of the design changes I encountered during the building process were the material to be used, the dimensions of the uh, originally started at being two inches wide by one inch thick. Ultimately, I chose boards uh, 1.5 inches wide and 0.75 inches thick. Um, I also originally planned to play with a rubber ball or a mallet. Ultimately, I used an old drumstick. Uh, these two changes were made. Uh, first, for the thinner boards, were easier to construct, cheaper to buy, and resulted in an overall smaller instrument. Uh, and then the drumstick I, I elected to use was because the rubber ball on a stick didn't quite make the right sound that I needed. Um, so, yeah. Um, on slide nine, you'll see the final engineering drawing uh, of my instrument and the final costs. Uh, ultimately, this wound up costing $9.32. Um, I did uh, then as I was building, I did come across some lessons learned. Um, very briefly, some of, uh, I found that the material dimensions and quality have a significant impact on the final product and that it's important to be able to adjust your plans in order to meet the desired outcome. Um, just because I had a plan in mind doesn't mean, as I was observing things during the construction phase, doesn't mean I shouldn't adjust according to what I'm observing. Um, some of the challenges I faced were the precision in craftsmanship. Um, I, making sure the cuts were straight and making sure the measurements were true uh, proved to be a bit more challenging than I anticipated. Also the selection of quality wood pieces at the right price. There's a wide range of um, straightness of wood that you'll find, density of wood that you'll find. Um, so just being very selective when, when buying materials to build. Uh, my final product I think overall turned out pretty well. There are some adjustments I would consider if I were to do this again. One is to consider a handle to hold the instrument. Right now I have to hold it a bit precariously and it's not exactly easy to do. Um, and then I would consider using wood glue in addition to the screws to fasten the bars to the support, the cantilever support, just to make sure that they're sturdier um, than they are now. And then ultimately I might consider using a different wood, maybe a denser wood, a nicer wood, uh, something that would just sound different.